taking a break after the third item there. We've got some refreshments here. Everyone's welcome to it. And uh, please be courteous with your cell phones, if you would, and, uh, and keep those uh, to vibrate or turn them off, please. So. And I guess the, the other housekeeping thing is there are these orange uh, speaker sheets. The uh, public expression is uh, uh, after several of these items. And uh, but if you bring them up here, and then I will give them to the uh, chair to be able to uh, call, call speakers as we go forward. OK. Then we'll just turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we'll move on to the first item, economic development in a resource-based transitional county, uh, which is kind of what we're engaged in now, such, such as it is. So I will speak uh, first to the issue of selecting and scheduling the speakers. Um, actually, I had a number of very good discussions with a number of people. We have <coughs> a list of a lot of uh, folks that uh, could be very interesting. And so the plan at this point is, uh, and not sure if I've mentioned this. Uh, we, we've been working with John Harper, who is the farm advisor through UC Extension, uh, because he has access to all all manner of uh, people who've done research in this area, and as well as consultation. And so, the plan at this point is we will assemble a list of, of potential speakers that have been suggested to us and route it to the board. Our idea was to schedule you know, an hour or so uh, on to, you know, one of our upcoming workshops or it could be scheduled on one of one of the <coughs> days uh, towards the end. But what we'll be asking for is, I mean, it's almost an embarrassment of riches. You, there are a lot of possibilities. It may even be that we'd like, you know, more, more than one of these speakers to come and, you know, have them, you know, maybe once a month or something, uh, but again, tacked on to a regular board meeting, not setting up a special meeting. So um, that's our, our plan, and we will produce that list. And I would also say if people have other suggestions for speakers that we ought to uh, pursue, let me know, and we'll put that on the list and then uh, route it to the board and see about scheduling those over the next several months. So that's how we're going to address the speaker issue, and that way we will be able to give the speakers. Apparently, uh, they like at least two months. Uh, so I think two months is about the time when we were adopting the calendar, the, the work plan in the first place. So, <coughs> Okay, the next item here, moving right along, uh, well, I guess maybe I, I just ask, will that work for the board? I mean, does that make sense that we rattle this around and, and uh, get people? Seeing no objection. Then the next item is strategy options for economic development, and I would point to a single sheet, both sides, that says strategy options for economic development. It's right behind the, the agenda in your, in your packet. <coughs> I'm not going to claim that this is an exhaustive list, but it is a rather long list anyway. And what, uh, what we did here was simply list the different strategies that are associated with um, economic development. And they ra range from supporting retention of local businesses, supporting expansion of local businesses. The one that people often think about is attracting businesses from outside the county. But mm -hmm. other economic development strategies involve uh, supporting development of range of housing options, uh, the water supply, and then any infrastructure issues around roads, sewer systems, lighting. Uh, communications infrastructure, transportation options for distribution of product, um, value enhanced uses of resources, in other words, not uh, exporting <coughs> raw products from the county, but actually processing them while they're still in the county so we get the, the markup from the, the additional processing. Um, ensuring up-to-date general plan and related documents so that people are clear what is and isn't allowed in various places and it reflects the, the current thinking and, and the board adopted thinking on that. Um, providing information to businesses on uh, different economic development um, opportunities, information to the public, and then kind of a list of some of, of these other groups that are part of economic development. The, the redevelopment agency of the county, uh, city-county partnerships are another option. 
Workforce Investment Board and, and Mendocino Work, EDSC, West, et cetera. It's, and you know, there may be other groups here that, uh, that I didn't identify. And then you is, uh, I think that's uh, community and private groups who focus on economic development because there are clearly other groups in the community that uh, have taken on this topic and, um, and may want to be part of this. So this is, as I said, not an exhaustive list, but it, it does kind of show the range of options. And they aren't all about county staff. And you know, certainly county staff is part of this. Um, but uh, it, there are a number of different ways in which economic development can be supported directly and indirectly by the county. And so the purpose of this list is just to have it in the back of your minds as we go through the rest of the discussion. So that's all of that. So next we'll briefly uh, go through the uh, public and private partnerships and just those those tools at our disposal. And so um, we put a number of uh, number of things we've lumped under public and private partnerships and uh, um, then it's always interesting the you know, words that we choose and words uh, how people interpret them. When we originally put out this public and private partnerships, uh, what our office was talking about was some of the agencies that we work with right now, which is CDC um, <coughs> and uh, also the Economic Development uh, Corporation, and I uh, worked with the cities. Uh, other people interpreted this entirely different. That we were going to go out and we were going to form a partnership and we were going to go into the development business. So that's an interesting concept, but I just wanted to clear that up. But we're not proposing going into business with anybody. Yeah. What we're talking about is more of the tune of partnerships. Uh, there is uh, recently the city, city and uh, I guess the city, I should just say the cities and the county of Mendocino, we meet together uh, on a quarterly basis. And that's the cities of Fort Bragg, City of Rhodes, and of course the city of Ukiah. And the city managers and myself, we meet once a quarter to go over <coughs> different issues and how we can work more closely together. One of the things that came out of our most recent <coughs> meeting was a discussion about better utilizing our resources with the CDC. Because each of the various agencies are involved with our, what's called our CDBG, our Community Block Grant Development Program. And if anyone has had experience with those programs, I would say for every decision that you make, that probably there's a pound of paperwork that goes along with whenever you're dealing with that particular agency. Um, very labor intensive, very staff intensive. So we've had discussions with the city manager, CEO level, about going together to CDC and looking at how we can partner on the projects that we do, whether it be in housing, or an economic development, or um, Supervisor Smith had uh, given us the other day an opportunity to work with PGE on the energy program, and CDC is pursuing that. So there are areas that we feel that uh, the CEO's office should be providing more leadership with working with the cities. We'll be pursuing that with CDC and then bringing something back to the board to talk about uh, how we would engage in those uh, particular partnerships. Um, economic development, uh, the CEO's office is doing mine as a staff person right now. Uh, had very few phone calls over uh, the last six months. Uh, I've dealt with uh, one person on a piece of property up Lower State Street. I worked with somebody on a piece of property over on the coast that wants to combine a business. And I had a new one in the last couple of days where someone is uh, looking for assistance in putting a business in them 